Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Jordan, and I'm back with another drawing video. So this time I'm drawing something a bit different. Normally I draw manga and anime style stuff, but this is actually an old drawing that I've had lying around for a long time, and I've had the video footage for this for ages. I can't even remember when I first did this, but I kind of decided that it was about time that I put it out and that I narrated it because the new James Bond film is coming out pretty soon. And if you can't tell, that's who I'm drawing, Daniel Craig, who plays James Bond. And I'm just a really big fan of the series. I kind of came into the James Bond series late, so I got into it when Daniel Craig started playing Bond. And he's just such a cool character. And I really kind of got into the series then. Honestly, I haven't watched the old ones. I kind of just really enjoy the new ones, like Casino Royale was really awesome. And I'm not like super into action movies, but there's just something about the James Bond, at least the newer ones that I've seen, that's just really cool. <laughs> so I decided that I'd do a, like a little mini portrait. I just cut an A4 piece of paper in half. So it's just an A5 little piece of paper, and I'm just doing it with a black pencil pretty much. I went through a bit of a phase quite a while back now where I was just doing lots of kind of portraits just using a black pencil and doing that kind of thing and I thought that was really fun then I kind of moved more towards my manga style drawings which you guys have probably been seeing a lot more recently and that's what I'm gonna focus on predominantly I enjoy doing that but at the same time it's good to be able to draw realistic as well and a lot of people who aren't really into art still appreciate a good portrait drawing so a lot of the times I'll have people want to see my art and I know they're not really into manga and anime so I pretty much always just show them some of my portraits and they're like oh yeah it's really good because a lot of people just don't get the manga and anime art and that's fine so it's cool to be able to draw some different styles draw some realism stuff and yeah like I said before a lot of people who aren't really into art and don't really have an eye for art can still really appreciate a portrait if it's done well and it looks realistic and that kind of thing. So I'm not saying you shouldn't draw anime because some people don't like that. At the end of the day, you should draw what you want to draw and who cares what other people think, basically. But at the same time, it's good to have a variety of different skills. And you see with all like great artists and just well-rounded artists, they can draw in multiple different styles. I mean, you just look at Mark Crilly. He's obviously done his graphic novels and then he's got his realism challenge book so it's like a perfect example of you might draw different styles but the fundamentals that you kind of learn from drawing realistic can really apply to your other styles of drawing as well so don't be afraid to try new things you really don't want to fall into a comfort zone where you're just drawing one style and you're not really expanding upon your skills where you could be learning lots of different things from trying out some things that might not feel really comfortable to you but if you kind of just take that step and stick with it, because you might not be good at it at first, but if you actually really give it your best shot and stick with it, you'll learn a lot and you'll learn it quicker than just staying doing one style. So there's a few key things that you really want to get right when you're doing a portrait, especially if you're doing a portrait of someone who's well known. You really got to get the proportions right, because if you have like the eyes too far apart or the jaws wrong or the nose is wrong, it's just really noticeable. So if you're drawing someone who's not known or it's just a made up kind of character then you can get away with it because it doesn't need to look perfectly like the reference that you're using but if you're drawing like a celebrity or something like that it's pretty crucial you got to get the proportions right. So even if you have a ruler handy you can kind of double check the positioning of everything like the space between the eyes and just measure it all out because you don't want to kind of finish the drawing and then look back at it and you notice it's kind of weird and it's because you haven't done the spacing right and then you've already spent all this time doing the shading and stuff and then you need to erase it. It's just a waste of time so try and get it all proportioned out at the start. I don't really do tutorial videos so much because I kind of feel like there's heaps of that already out on YouTube and it's not super fun for me to do and it takes a lot of time. So if you want to see some videos on how to kind of do the proportions of the face and all that kind of stuff positioning of the eyes the nose to where the lips are there's plenty of videos on YouTube so you can just search for that and that kind of gives you like the fundamentals and 
gives you a good starting place. Another thing that I think is super important, and this doesn't just apply to portraits, I think it applies to pretty much like all forms of drawing, you really want to get a good contrast. So you see in the drawing here, I've got like solid black in the hair, and then you'll have like solid black in the eyes, like the pupils. You just want to have a good gradation between solid black and then white. A lot of portraits that don't work so well, often they just look really flat and it's because they only have like a few different tones of grey and they just look flat, they don't look kind of three dimensional and they just don't look interesting and it's just because they haven't done enough shading or they haven't gone dark enough. So really make sure that you get really dark. So you want to have good pencils for that. You can use Prismacolor black pencils work pretty well. In this video I was using a bunch of different pencils ranging from like HB to like 8B maybe. And it was just like a really dark lead. Some leads are more grey, so they have a really grey lead kind of look. But the pencils that I was using here, the really dark ones, looked more like a Prismacolor pencil. They just be, they came off like black and I prefer that look. But it depends what pencils you've got. It takes a lot of kind of working it in and yeah it really just depends on your pencils so make sure you get a decent set of pencils which can actually go really dark. So you see here I'm colouring his skivvy and I'm pretty much going solid black. There'll be a few little details put in there for the fabric but the idea of this is to draw all the attention to the face because that's obviously the most important part and then from there you want to draw the attention to the eyes even more which I go in later and actually put some colour in there because I think that kind of makes it look interesting. So he's just got the blue eyes and I think that looks pretty cool. Something to keep in mind even when you're drawing realistic, you can still put some of your own style into it. Like with this drawing here, I did a lot of the shading with kind of dot work and I wanted it to have more of a kind of textured look. So it's not so much like a photo realistic drawing, but it's still obviously realism. So you might have noticed throughout the drawing process I've done a bunch of shading with a q-tip and that gives it a really nice smooth blend. You can also use like a kind of scrunched up tissue and that gives it the same kind of effect, it's just less precise. So this contrasts well with the textured look that I get from my dot shading and it gives it a really cool look. So it's all about contrast in the end I think, the smooths and the roughs and then the black to the white and that will give you an effective portrait. So I hope you guys found this video helpful, even though it's a bit different from my usual stuff. Next week I'll be back with another Copic Art drawing video, back with my anime style drawing, so I'll see you guys then.